Hi, welcome. We always try to support you if we have the time. We can um, boot up things like, if, for instance, on the forum, here's somebody's asking, hey, I have Arclinux B Cinnamon. It's the one of 1907.9 that's in my system in here. And we're going to update everything and solve the question. The question of uh, the user is actually, um, how can I change the preferred application? So I always try to type preferred and see what comes up in any desktop. This is Cinnamon. And in here we can say what the preferred application is. So um, if we do super shift enter, we get this system in here, which is in this case Tunar. We like our Tunar to be present in many of our desktops. And we can say open a terminal here and decide what it's going to be. But this part is an XFCE part. And that one is actually governed not in the elements in Cinnamon. Cinnamon is another desktop. And if you want to change that preference, you actually need to change something from, um, well, XFC itself. So we have this XO something, XO preferred applications. That's the thing you need to remember. XO and then tap XO preferred application. We get this pop-up. We could say termite, forget about termite. Let's go for, which is this question, to go to the GNOME terminal. If I say close and close this one, right mouse click again in the Tunar, not here, in Tunar, open terminal, it's going, going to open up GNOME terminal. So that's one thing out of um, the, well, solved, let's say. But that's, of course, if you're using Tunar, Tunar XFC, the link, that's done. Now, if you're using Nemo, which is actually the official one, so this is Tunar and that is Nemo. If I open that one and I do a right mouse click, open in terminal, something else is going to come up. In my case, I've already set the GNOME terminal, it seems, in the past. So if we go to the preferred applications, we can actually choose here what it's going to be. Let's change it to Termite then. And if we open it again, we've changed it to termite. So that's the thing you have to remember when you want to switch things around, then you can do so. But remember that we have two desktops in a sense, because Tunar is actually coming from XFC. So the settings, the way it's set, um, needs to be set, of course, with XFC tools, uh, simple as that. So we can go to preferred applications that way, but there's also a button up here which gives us an overview of all the system settings we can make it bigger and in here we can actually just start typing preferred and where is it it's this design this is the surfing icon theme um, missing here it is on the side preferred application as you see it's just the same thing um, as we but we have this arrow up here since we've launched it from settings and not from here so let's me do the rest of the video. So that's that's solving the question, the terminals. And let's just update the system so that everything is up to specs. With a Control alt t now, I have, of course, my GNOME terminal, which is OK, but it's not transparent. Tip of the day, yay, GNOME terminal transparent. I think like this. Uh, no, it's gone, my friends, AOR. It's gone unless I need to go for terminal transparent, transparent or something, or terminal trans. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's called GNOME Terminal Transparency. So number two, if I decide to say, what the hell, I don't want this solid color in the background for my GNOME terminal. I want something transparent. We need to do this, but this means my mirrors are not okay. So he's trying to find in Arch Linux this application. He doesn't find it. He's, he's really trying to figure out where are my, where's my data, where's my packages. Okay, well, never mind. Let's update our mirrors. He's making a nice list in the back end and it's telling us now we can go and go ahead and install this. Number two, 
And that's it. Bunch of stuff needs to be created, but who cares? Just fun. But we uh, definitely need to do something more. Uh, let's see if we have internet. If that's not the case, no. I do think we have internet. What's new? Discord. Google. Dot .pe. Fine. So that's out of the question. That's okay. He's trying to connect to places and he can't connect. Mm. Let's see what the mirror does. Really thinking hard. What's going on here? I'm looking something. I'm missing something here. Wondering what it is that I'm missing now. Something is missing. What am I doing wrong? We have this. We have that. The mirror list doesn't need to be updated. Let's do an update first. Okay. Now we can close. This machine has been turned on, hasn't been turned on since Monday, July the 8th. So July, August, September, three months time. I did my update. Let's see if the Yay terminal is now working. That's it. I need to update actually my database of Pac-Man. So the package manager Pac-Man contains some DB files somewhere on your system, user share, and then I don't know anymore. But it doesn't matter, it's there and it was wrong. What he had as a database where the data was, what he thought the data was, was incorrect. So now everything is up to date, up to specs, and we have here the question. Do you want GNOME Terminal transparency in GNOME Terminal or in conflict? Do you want to remove GNOME Terminal? Yes, because I want the one in transparency. So it's the same number as you see, but it's a little bit patched, as they call it. Let's get rid of all that. Control T, and then you say, Eric, you're so wrong. It's still the same, but these are settings. You need to go in there. I'm gonna make it like I always make it. 90 by 30. A custom font, a little bit bigger. And colors, transparent. A little bit, well, like this is okay. Maybe a little bit more. You choose and use the colors from the system theme if you want that or scrolling. I don't want that. I do want to keep on scrolling back. And there's one thing I'm missing, which is going to be here. Global, general, general. Show menu bar by default. I don't want that. I don't want this menu bar. Control T. This is the look I like for a GNOME terminal and a right mouse click. I can show menu bar. I can go to the preferences. So I don't need the menu bar in my look here. And this is much nicer. Really don't like the wallpaper. So next, Alt N. That's a nice one. I've been there. It's Italy. It's beautiful. And maybe the name is there. Yes, that's the name of the city. Now it's um, a nice place to be. So this is the way how to um, set your GNOME terminal transparent, but we wanted to update. So remember the clue of all these errors that you saw was update, <laughs> type in update. It's 1.2 gigs going down, unpacking five gigs, but actually we're just talking about 78 megabytes of difference net upgrade size. And then we'll check if we reboot, if everything is still okay. But this is how you change your um, terminals in Cinnamon. I have this nice shadow in here, I see. That's a, a great desktop. I've been using Linux Mint like oh, for years. You can see that on ericdubois.be. That Linux Mint was my primary um, distro, a lot of articles. A lot of scripting I've done and I keep supporting them via Sarti and Surfing icons well and all the other um, 
this rows as well, of course. Okay, let's uh, pause the video. The last thing, the next thing we need to do is yay. So this is update, meaning Arco Arch. We haven't updated AOR, so that's later. And then, of course, we would like to have a name, a number in, this, in a sense, not a name, but a number. In the bin, you have here the stay rolling. And if we have the new one in, going from 19, oh, no, 197 to 199, so it's September release, we have this folder here later on, and then we can update to another number because this is still officially 907, which again, guys, is just a number. It could be anything and numbers are added. Somebody said to me, why you use a number? You're rolling. So yes, that's true. But the reference is, is, is interesting for us to know, okay, we they've used this kind of ISO or um, they follow through with the updates and so on. It gives us some kind of um, time stamp that we know that's when it has been installed or that's the reference. So we know what's changed after that. So let's wait for this uh, update. All right, everything is up to date. You watch and scroll over everything that changes and if you see some stuff in there that is pointing to the ETC scale, you already know you need to run scale in your command. Do check out what happens if you type it. I've made a lot of videos about it, so check them out. Now the scale has made this copy paste um, over to this folder, your own folder. And the only thing I need to do is actually say, stay rolling with a slash. And that's it. Control T. I have now 1909.1 as version because this was not found, so it was not uninstalled, which is okay and fine, done. We're up to date unless, well, not 100%. If we do now, and um, well, let's see if up all is already there. Command up all is not there. So we have a new alias and getting new alias in is super, super simple, CB. Do check out the videos about CB, up all. And now it is going to install all the rest. Everything that's coming from AUR. These are not from Arch Linux. They are not from Arch Linux. They are from the AUR, right? So that's just waiting to install. Um, if package builds failed, don't uh, bother with it. And it means, well, that the maintainer at that point in time is figuring out there is an update and there is a problem and give him time, two, three days, and it's fixed. Just update everything else. Like for instance, this time shift here just gives us an error. Easiest way to do it maybe, maybe you can show that in the video as well. Double click and the um, updates up here, checking for updates. He thinks everything is up to date, but if you tell Pamek to actually check also the AOR, Go on, check for updates, close, and then updates. You'll see all these guys. And the only one that's giving a problem, problem is the time shift. So you say, whatever, time shift, go figure it out. I'll wait for the next update because the time shift application will work. It's just that one that's, well, it's still, they need to still figure it out, right? And we apply all the rest. So all the rest is coming in as all the rest is working. That's super. So that's how you do it. Um, I hope I helped you with these terminal questions and I'll put uh, this video in as a response in the forum. So do use Article Linux forum because well, their users in the future can consult it and say, oh, that's how to do it because on Discord, Facebook and all that, it's gone. This information is gone for other users. You're helped, but not the others. So. Uh, do use the form and we'll uh, answer you there promptly. All right. Cheers.